Nobody is temptation proof and whoever thinks that he is standing must be careful that he does not fall. A marathon runner cannot afford to stumble or to fall. If you stumble, that might be the end of your race. You might not be able to continue with the race. The same with the Christian roadrunner, those who are following Jesus. Your fall might be fatal. Do not allow the devil any foothold. His only job is to destroy you. It was for one sin, one disobedience that caused Adam to die. And it is one temptation that destroys many believers because they give in to temptation and then they are done with. A child of God has no business watching television, has no business watching the movies. A child of God has no business playing Xbox. He has no business with the things of this world. We must be very, very careful because if you fall, you might just not get back up. Don't look for trouble. A child of God has no business chatting with his brother's wife if his brother is not there. Don't open the door to temptation. You have no business visiting his house if he's not there. If he's not there, you've got no business going in there. You've got no business being alone with another woman. You're looking for trouble. And that is how many marriages are broken up. All this nonsense of private counseling and counselors, that opens the door to the devil. Do not look for trouble because he will find a way to get in and he will destroy you. We must be very careful. As children of God, the devil is coming at you. He's looking for an opportunity to destroy you. Don't open the door. Don't play with sin. We read in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 12, Therefore strengthen the hands that are weak and the knees that are feeble and make straight paths for your feet so that the limb which is lame may not be put out of joint but rather be healed. Jesus said, Watch and pray that you fall not into temptation because the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak. Don't play with the devil. He will destroy you. One sin can make you end up in hell. May Jesus bless you.